Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing another beginner colored pencil tutorial and this is part two. So if you haven't seen part one yet, I'm gonna link it because it's really helpful for anybody who has never used colored pencil before and I talk about some really basic things. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about gradients, layering, and blending, which go hand in hand with the things I talked about in the first video. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with talking about gradients. So let's start out with a black pencil because that's easiest. And we're gonna go from a very, very dark um, value to a mid-tone to then a light value or a highlight. Let's do the same thing, but let's use a color this time. So look at how much value you can get with just one pencil. Now I'm gonna use a polychromos pencil for this third little um, value scale that I'm gonna do here because polychromos pencils are a little bit less soft and waxy, so it's a little bit different of a feeling when you're using a polychromos pencil. What I've noticed is that sometimes you get a little bit less of a grainy look when you're using polychromos since it's an oil-based pencil versus a wax-based pencil. You can get the same result with Prismacolors as you can polychromos. So let's color a value scale with two separate colors. That's what it looks like when you go from one color and then all the way into another color. Now let's try some layering with multiple colors and see what kind of results that we get. I've just used one color so far and I've done a couple of layers, so I want to go ahead and get a really, really nice, bright value. So I'm going to go ahead and do some more layers in this little box of the same yellow color. So I got this result by using medium pressure and building up the layers, so I never used a very, very hard pressure. I might have used a little bit of a hard pressure towards the end, but I never used a super, super hard pressure and I was still able to get a very nice, bright, and even coverage. Now let's do the same thing, but we're going to use two colors, not just the yellow. We're now going to use another aggressive color, this bright orange color. So these pencils, they kind of layer very well, they're known for layering very well. So you can kind of create more colors, even if you have a limited color palette, you can kind of create additional colors by blending two colors. Let's try uh, three colors. Let's layer three colors in this next square right here. I think I'm gonna start with the orange rather than the yellow because I really don't want to use the yellow anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and take this bright orange color and lightly layer that on top of this light orange. So now we have something we might realistically use if we were shading something, we would have the darker tones on this side and then we would have the lighter orange on this side. Let's try that same thing, but we're also going to use a red now, so we're going to use three colors. So now I've achieved a bit of depth because I do have that red transitioning into the orange and then the light yellowish orange color here. So I have some soft pinks here. I have pink rose and then henna. So what I did with this one was I kind of just layered um, over and over again and then I did layer the light color on top of the dark color. So that's a great thing to do to make everything look a little bit more natural as well. Okay, in the last little square, I'm going to take this ultramarine blue, so it's a very bright blue, and then I will go back and grab my crimson red, and I'm going to blend the two colors together and layer them in this box right here. So 
that's what I love about colored pencils. You can use two totally different colors and you can still blend them together nicely. So now let's talk about blending, which is very, very important with colored pencils. But let's go ahead and get started with a not so great way on how to burnish. a decent blend here but now I want to go in with a darker color because I realized that this isn't dark enough it's not as dark as I'd like to get I'm gonna go in with a dark brown pencil for light areas a lot of people like to burnish with the white pencil so I'm gonna go ahead and do that Now the white pencil has kind of decreased my saturation a bit. I'm kind of just having issues here with wax bloom because now there is this greasy sort of feel, waxy feel on top of the paper because of how much I kind of pressed hard into the paper. Plus I cannot get a good coverage of brown here because um, I went in way too soon and pressed way too hard at the beginning with that pink tone. I'll use these same three colors. But I'm going to use a better method of burnishing. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with that dark brown color and I'm gonna add some dark brown around here and then we're gonna go back with the pink and layer that on top of the brown. Even though right now I have a lighter result and this is taking longer than the other one did, I was able to layer and blend that brown nicely with the pink henna color only by using a medium pressure. So now I'm gonna go back in with the pink. I'll go ahead now and add another layer of the brown. Now that I've got a good amount of pigment down, so I've been using medium pressure, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my pink and actually burnish this side. Then I'm gonna go in with my white and burnish the lighter side. So now I'm just gonna go in one last time with the pink color and just kind of clean things up. <music> Lastly, I'm just gonna do a similar demonstration but with the polychromos pencils since I haven't really used them very much. So polychromos pencils again are less waxy than Prismacolors. Um, so I find that it works better for me at least to sort of just build them up more gradually and the whole like using white pencil on top to blend it out thing doesn't work as well for me with polychromos. So if you're using an oil based pencil you might have to be just a little bit more patient in order to fully build up all that color that you want. They are very um, nice with layering and blending, it just is a little bit different and takes a little bit longer. there we have it there are some swatches on how you can blend your pencils and I'm gonna leave off by writing a couple of notes about blending techniques and burnishing techniques so hopefully this two-part beginner colored pencil tutorial was helpful to some people who are new to the medium if you did like this video please go ahead and leave a comment because I love to hear feedback about it and I will hopefully see you in the next video